So the other day I had to wipe my MacBook, which means I need to install um, many of my web development tools. And one of my favorites is MAMP. And I like to use MAMP because it's easy to download and set up. And when I need to get a server up uh, really quickly with PHP, I like to go to MAMP. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm on MAMP.info and I'm going to click on this first here. And then just click the download button. And of course I'm needing mine for Mac. Uh, apparently there's a Windows version now, so if you're on Windows, you can follow along too. I'll follow them on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, you should follow me too. I'm at EasyDevTools. And then I'll go through the install process. Continue. Continue. Agree. Uh, okay. Got my password. Now, a big reason I like to use MAMP is because I like to do a lot of WordPress development. And MAMP sets up uh, PHP MyAdmin, and it'll allow you to create databases for WordPress. Okay, looks like we're good. Click close. I'll go ahead and move that to the trash. And let's go ahead and start up MAMP. There we go. It comes with MAMP Pro. I'm not going to be setting that up today. Probably won't be buying it either. Before I start the server, one thing I like to do is uh, set up my preferences. And what I want to do is uh, change the location of uh, all of my PHP files. So you can see here the default settings is in the Applications folder, in MAMP, and in htdocs. Uh, I like to put mine uh, in a folder that I create. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it, I'll call it dev. And then within that, about localhost. Click select and OK. I'm going to start my servers. And when it starts up, it'll open up the map homepage. Go ahead and allow that. When I click on my website, you see here I get this uh, index of, and that's because it's pointing to uh, the localhost folder that we just created. In your tools, you'll find the PHP MyAdmin, which is useful for creating databases um, for things like WordPress. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Your map is now set up and you're ready for some PHP coding.